As we set fire. And because of that, America is suffering. So let's get right down to the real nitty gritty. Farrakhan, do you think we should integrate? No, 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 wait, wait, wait. Or do you think we should separate? Or do you think we should have some of both? How is that possible? This integration, that's not what Dr. King and the Civil Rights Movement was about. They didn't want nice relationships with white folk over equal justice under the law and fair treatment. That's what Dr. King was about. But you know how the enemy is so smart, he uses a trick, you know, integration. So the meaning of integration is, you know, if the prefix is an integer. What is an integer? It's a whole number, right? I think in mathematics it says the whole is equal to the sum of its parts. Ooh, that's, that's, that's tough. Because its parts, meaning you got to belong to in order to be a part of. So if I got a pie and eight slices of bean pie. Then I got a whole pie. But if I got six slices of bean and two slices of apple, I don't have a whole pie. Because the two parts that are apple don't belong with the six parts that are being. So if the whole is equal to the sum of its parts, you got to belong to in order to be a part of. Question. Do you really belong? Well, that kind of integration you got. You now can sleep with white women and men, right? They don't kill you as quick as they used to. So you feel we've arrived in heaven, right? So now we have a lot of mixed marriages or mixed sleep-ins and mixed babies, right? But even in the mixture, white folks are losing. You can't shake that up and get a white person. So the black man has a weapon that he's using to make white folks extinct. And when white women look at that black man, strong and mighty like Samson, she done got the secret of your riddle, brother. <laughs> In 
And once the baby is born, she got to work now with a light-skinned baby with kinky hair. Damn, that's different. And you're doing fine. You're really doing okay, you know. The prefix is an integer. What is an integer? It's a whole number. Right? I think in mathematics it says the whole is equal to the sum of its parts. Ooh, that's, that's, that's tough. Because its parts, meaning you got to belong to in order to be a part of. So if I got a pie and eight slices of bean pie, then I got a whole pie. But if I got six slices of bean and two slices of apple, I don't have a whole pie because the two parts that are apple don't belong with the six parts that are being. So if the whole is equal to the sum of its parts, you got to belong to in order to be a part of. Question. Do you really belong? Well, that kind of integration you got. You now can sleep with white women and men. Right? They don't kill you as quick as they used to. So you feel we've arrived in heaven, right? So now we have a lot of mixed marriages or mixed sleep-ins and mixed babies. Right? But even in the mixture, white folks are losing. You can't shake that up and get a white person. So the black man has a weapon that he's using to make white folks extinct. And when white women look at that black man, strong and mighty like Samson, she done got the secret of your riddle, brother. <laughs> and once the baby is born, she got to work now with a light-skinned baby with kinky hair. Damn, that's different. And you're doing fine. You're really doing okay, you know. But that's not the integration that Dr. King was talking about. Now let me tell you what real integration is. You ready? Here's a man and a woman, two different beings, maybe of the same race even, same ethnicity. When that sperm is emitted and it finds the egg and the first cell of life is created, the body wants to reject it because it's a foreign entity in your body. But the sperm now that has met the egg and become the first cell of life, the Quran said, it has to find a firm resting place. 
So now, the cell of life clings to the walls of the uterus and holds on against rejection. After a while, rejection stops. Acceptance comes and the new life is growing within the womb of a life that's been here and drawing from that life to build up its life. It's become a part of, but it's growing into something independent. That one day after development is going to breathe on its own. It's going to demand to come forth out of the womb. The umbilical cord has to be cut. And then the baby has to be washed and swaddled and salted and then grow into a new creature independent from, separated from the mother out of which it came. That's integration that produces separation. Now listen, listen, listen. Now look at the Chinese. Here they come to America. Well, in every major city where there are Chinese, they ain't trying to sleep with white people. The Chinese settle in a part of town. Maybe one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, because they like to be with each other. Okay, they come in, then they end up buying where they live. They're separate, but they're integrated. They're in a system that they're making work for them. Can you dig it? Well, now look at them. Go to Chinatown. You go to a Chinese restaurant. It's Chinese people. What do you expect in Chinatown? They ain't integrating. You can't go in Chinatown looking for egg foo young and a black person come out saying, egg foo young, please. He would say, damn, what is he doing here? I thought he should be over on the other side of town selling ribs. I'm trying to give you a picture. In Chinatown, they got their own banks. Chinese people make money, they put money in their own bank. They lend money to their own people. They set up their own businesses in Chinatown. Integrated, but separate. In many large cities now you have Koreatown, Greek town, Polish town. Well, hell. You say, well, yeah, there was white people and Asian people. Well, going down to Miami. And look at the Haitians. They're your black brothers and sisters. They came to America a few years ago. They got their own part of town. They got their own politics. They got five banks. And you sitting around here talking to bad. How big and bad you are. Don't have a damn bank. Don't have no money. You live in a separate part of town and don't own nothing in that part of town. You don't own the business. You don't own the block where you live. The white man come and set up banks. 
the black bank closed down. See, you're already separated, but you're not profiting. So Elijah Muhammad comes up with this plan. Now look, I'm going to say this. Now some of you might not understand, but I'm going to say it anyway. You know, we live in America. We have suffered here. This is our country. Wait, 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 wait now. It, ours? Hell yeah. When you paid the price that we paid, when our work on the plantation made them rich, when we picked the cotton that gave them an agrarian economy based on our picking cotton, tobacco, and sugar cane, we made them bankers, we helped them set up Wall Street, we fuel the industrial revolution. We fought in all the wars. Well, hell then. This is ours. Did I did I say something wrong? Well, we need to claim what we built. Peace for ever and always. Welcome to another edition of the Realities Temple on Earth. Your host is his divine masculine brother, Administer Talik IBNRAD.